hanging on back with a ginormous box. Woohoo! Oh man, just look at that. It's huge. And it is the Miracle Metalworks Voltron Vehicle Force. And this is a figure I done wanted the moment it was announced I wanted to buy it. But it was like $270. I was like, it's too much. I can't afford that. And then about a year down the road, a year or more, then when it showed up again, it was like $179. I was like, wow, only $179. I want it. 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 I wait. But uh, yeah, I ain't got the money for that. So uh, I had to let it go. And then, just this, what was it? Mm, I think it was on Friday? Friday or Saturday? Yeah, I went and I was looking on the internet because I checked all my, to my toy stores near me and uh, they was all same old toys, same old toys, same old toys. Everybody here knows that story. When you go into the store and you're like, all right, new toy, new toy, new toy. No, nothing new. And so I was looking on the internet and suddenly, bam, there he was on sale for $99. Brand new, $99. Not an eBay, not a used one, a brand new one. And it even says it's the improved version because the original version had some problems. And this is much improved. So, uh, yeah, I'm real happy about this. So, it is fantastic. And, man, I'm happy I could share this with you. Oh. So, um, I'm going to just show you the box real fast. Now, uh, hand in hand, show them the back of the box. And the back of the box is amazing because it is completely black. There is nothing on it at all. No, no tags, nothing. So I'll just show you the sides. So right here we have a Voltron Vehicle Force. And Voltron with his uh, javelins right there. And one more time. Right there on this side. And it's the same on the other side. Man, that's a big box. So same there, and then right here, we got one more. All right, and here you could see where it shows like, um, let's see. It says it's the air team, sea team, and land team. And then it shows the weapons that he comes with. It actually comes with three blazing swords. He comes with a chrome one, a gold one, and a blue one. Yeah, so really fantastic. And man, I am just so happy with this. I'm so happy I bought it. It just looks great. Now, the only question now, because you know, do I like it? Yeah. So the question is, Felsba, are you going to eat it? Yeah. I wonder, will I eat it? Let's find out. All right, let's go. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you the figure, and then we'll find out in the summation. Is I going to eat it? Let's go. Woohoo! All right. Now, normally I don't do this, but uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. When you open up the styrofoam inside, and then you have this. And I mean, right here. And this comes out. And uh, there it is. Voltron. Vehicle Force right there. So, uh, yeah, that's the insert, and of course, there he is, and it looks like he's ready to be, uh, put together into, um, robot mode. Yeah, so, yeah, I just wanted to show the way he is in package. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take him out now, but I thought you might enjoy just taking a look at that. Alright, let's go. Oh, man, I didn't even know that was gonna be under there. Yeah, so right underneath is all the weapons. It's got like two, three blazing swords right there. A big, uh, there's a uh, gold one, silver one, and then in the back there's a blue, and there's his different hands. And we'll look at them later, but man, that just looks amazing. That's fantastic. I can't wait. Oh man, I'm so excited now. All right. Alright, so this is hard to do because there's so many parts to Voltron that I think I'm just going to go and show the team vehicles. I mean, so, of course, this is the air team. And, you know, 
a lot of it is just bricking. I mean, I'll just take this off. And just to give details, I mean, this is, you know, the ship. And what I like is they have this. And this is for the articulation in robot mode. And it's all die-cast metal. And it's held on by just magnet, which is nice, right there. And it's just like the head. The head is also held on by a magnet. And nice little details are on it. And it is very nicely detailed. I like that they put a lot of effort into it. And I think it really looks great. I mean, and then we have the middle part. And then we got the two helicopters on the side. So, you know, of course this is just... It is what it is. I mean, this is the Voltron vehicle mode. And you could tell. Just do this. There, it's the upper torso. I, it's really, you know, nothing special, nothing amazing. But I do like it. And because I like the show. Now, this is the worst one. And it's probably going to fall apart because the way that they did it. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, now this is the all-terrain. So here's the two cars on the bottom. And I'll show you why it falls off. So we have, of course, the hands. The hand cars are right there. You know, there's a, there's their little headlights. I do wish they made those bigger. And because for, for uh, you know, putting on different hands, they have this. They could have made, like, one of these that just look like the front of a car. And uh, that would have really been nice. But, yep, so here's the back part. Now, the problem with it is right here. The way that these literally go on is you just go and push it like that. So there's no lock. There's no mechanism. You don't slide it. I thought they slid over. Nope. Nowhere to slide it. It just literally sits on top. So I mean, there's, it's like a little bit of pressure is keeping it in. So it just falls off. And yeah, I'm really disappointed with this part. This part I'm disappointed in, but I already transformed into a robot, and that's the show. That's the reason I wanted to get it, not for the combined land mode. Yeah. And then we'll go to the C-Team, which the C-Team actually looks pretty good together. Yeah. So here's the C-Team, and it does look good, I and mean, it looks like, if you remember the show, it looks like it. If you remember the old toy, it looks like it. So here it is. Yeah, and I think this works really well. And also in the original um, release, these nose parts would fall down. But here, nice and straight, you know, it really does look the way it's supposed to look. And yeah, so it is nice right here. And um, just to do, just to go over, I and mean, it just really... Vehicle Voltron is something special to me. I mean, yeah, when I first saw Voltron, Vehicle Voltron, I hated it. Because I was like, oh man, what happened to Lions? But over time, I started to like him more and more. And I've always liked the robot mode. Now, I think the show was really slow. And, you know, it's, so, it's more like political things going on. But who wants to watch that in a cartoon? Not me. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of a wrong theme, but the robot was always awesome. So, uh, yeah, so let's go and form Voltron. All right. All right, so I'll just start at the C-Team. And this makes it easy because you, know, you just pop, this part just pops out. Now, on a lot of parts, you need to depress something. But here, it's this one just pops in and out. There's nothing to depress. So, right here. And of course, being that these are here, it's already been transformed into the leg part. So all we have to do is move this part down here. And then we're just going to flip this right to here. And there we go. Well, we'll leave it open. Because when we connect him, we're going to have to push this part in to get it to work. So once again... We just come over here, open this up, flip this one around all the way to there, and we're going to leave it open so we can get that part. 
So the next the next part we'll go to is we'll go to the, do the feet some more. So of course the feet and the feet are very easy to figure out where it goes because if you have this top part and just so you know for when they're vehicles I do want to show this. This part just flips around like this. Okay, so you push this on the back and that goes like that and then you flip it around. So and if it ever pops out, you just got to push the button to get it back in. But so all you have to do is line up. Now, if you put it here, yeah, that's not right. So we just go and take it and it just slides in and it one thing bothers me it doesn't lock so yeah it is something that uh, bothers me a bit but it's okay you know I mean these are nitpicky details that really don't affect the figure much so right there there's the feet woohoo now we're gonna go here and this is the waist and the hands. So to remove the hands, okay, so we're going to come here and you have to push right here. Push this button here and it releases the hands. So again, there's a button here. You push and release right there. So this part here is going to connect to these guys. So let me make sure which one is which side. As you can tell, not by that, but by the tilt. Which way does he tilt? Okay, so the tilt is in this way. So, like this. All right. All right. So once you figure out where the tilt is, now we're going to go and we're going to put the legs in. And this one is a bit tough. I'm going to be honest, and hold on, let me go here, and let me open these guys up to get a little bit of height, because he is huge. I mean, it really is a big figure. And sorry, whatever you saw over there. I'll do that. And over there, too, suddenly. Everything just fell down. Alright, so right here. So, when we do this, we're just going to go, come over here. And we're going to push this in. So this part part here, we're going to push in as hard as we can. And then we want to push real hard. And it'll fight you. So it's good to twist. And you got to get it in all the way like that. Okay, and it's good sometimes to twist. It's hard because this part moves. And so it makes it much more difficult to get to. Just to let you know why why is it hard to do? That's why. So it's also good if we open this up so we can get the back a little bit. And so when we do this one, we're gonna have the same thing. So again, we're gonna push in, push in here, and then do push. Oh man, that one was nice and easy. Alright. Normally I have to fight them more. But today, he didn't want to fight. Alright, so now we have the waist. The easiest way to do it, flip up so this comes out. Over here. Alright, so we have this. And we're going to take this little piece here and... Yeah. So now the question is, which way do you go? Which one's top? Which one's bottom? Well, right here you see the circle. That is the upper part, because this turns for the upper body. And this part here is the ab crunch. So the ab crunch goes to the bottom. Like, so you just take it and put it in there like that. Now we're going to go, and we're going to remove um, the jet, because he'll fall off, and remove the head, because it will fall off. Now when you get here, and this part is really cool. I really, really like that they did this. So you pull up the door here. This door, you open it up. Like this. And then you can push it inside. Which is awesome. I'm pushing it inside. Gets it out of the way. We're just going to go. 
and push that together and we have boom the upper body now all right so now we're going to do of course the hands and just like before with the hands when you attach them you're going to push this black button so the little black button is going to get pushed while you slide them in because you don't want to mess up your figure and you just hold on slide it in there you go until it locks like that and he's moving around a little bit and same thing right here Right there it locked in all right so we have all this then we're gonna go put on the chest all right now you know what to do you know what to say everybody and all for oh wait one thing I forgot go to the back I did forget one thing there's a reason okay so once again you're gonna push this and you're gonna rotate this back so it goes across this way almost forgot so of course there's the jet jet goes here opens up and the last thing come on you watch Voltron you know exactly and I'll form the head right. and then we open it up and there you go and there is Voltron in all his awesomeness and believe me it is awesome so right there I'm sorry I didn't show each each uh, piece individually but the video would be like 40 minutes long if I did that. So uh, you can watch Odeon's video. He did that. But right here. And this is just awesome, awesome figure. So let's go to the weapons. Alright, let's go. Alright, so now let's take a nice look at Vehicle Voltron. And I mean, man, I love this figure. I really do. I gotta just admit it now. I mean... I always wanted Vehicle Voltron. I finally got Vehicle Voltron, so I, he is happy. And to get it at such a good deal really makes me happier. I mean, you know, this is like one of those figures that I never thought I'd get. I just never thought, oh no, I'll never be able to get him. And to actually get him is really a great feeling. And I love I mean, the details they put on him. I, I know that uh mmw you know miracle metalworks got a lot of criticism in their first release and they should have because i from what i saw I and mean, i watched odian's video and just parts breaking things not being right yeah there's a reason when you spend 270 dollars 260 on a figure and it's not done right and looks really bad but this i mean i think they would add a whole different ball game if they had come out with this first i mean this is nice shiny and good i mean wow i mean, this is really exactly what i wanted for voltron and we haven't even gotten into the weapons and all the little extras but let me back them up a little bit just to show I mean, and this is just him standing, and he looks so good. He really looks good, and he's a big figure. I mean, so if we go and we put him with, you know, Bumblebee, you know, right there. I mean, Bumblebee is up to about his knee. I mean, so really shows. And let's get a bigger one that just came out. Let's go grab Jetfire. And Jetfire... Now, if you include his um, backpack, yeah, then he's kind of, what's wrong with you, Jetfire? You want to fall over? Hey, don't, don't be worried. It's only Voltron. You don't need to pass out. All right, but I'll do it this way. All right, but right there, I mean, you could see, he just comes up to his waist. If you have these, this part here, okay, it's coming up to his head. But just to show you how big a figure it is. I mean, it's nice and amazing and wow. Really what I wanted. I mean, so all the way around to I mean, all the details that they have. 
I mean, and even things that they do where you can push that out. Yeah, I know it's for uh, v that combined vehicle mode. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just the sides. Nice, the coloring is nice on it. Everything, and even in the back, I like how nice it is in the back. I mean, it actually looks like something. Like, if you, for me, you know, if, for me, if it's all cluttered, it doesn't bother me too much, but I really like the cleanness of this in the back. I mean, it does look like if you had, you know, yeah, it would use a little more paint, but pretty much if you use this as what the back of Ultron looked like, you wouldn't feel like, oh, that looks bad. You know, it looks good. So, bringing them around to the front. Now, if we go to the articulation, this figure does have, he does have articulation. And so, of course, the head, and uh, the head is on a ball joint, but I'm just going to show it. But it's not centered. It's an off-center. So you do have a ball joint, and it does, well, pop right out. But, uh, yeah, it goes around this, not the center of it. So you can tilt downward. And back, not really, because it just goes flat. But you could tilt downward, and, and 360. And, of course, there's a magnet in there that helps to hold it in place. All right. Once we get to that, and nice thing here, the wings here move in. And the reason is because his shoulder, he has a shoulder piece that comes and can move all the way across this way. Right there. Oh, and there goes that. Spin 360 right there. And it has a little bit of lift right here in the shoulder. So you can do more than just simple things. Underneath, right here, you have 360 all the way around. You have the elbow, which can go, you know, 180. <laughs> You know, can bend to forward a little less than 90 and all the way back at 90. Yeah, so maybe it goes the opposite way. No, I think it goes this way. Yeah, but, uh, yep, wrist 360 spin there, and the wrist is 360. So he's got below the elbow 360, 360 there. He has an ab crunch, which makes him go back like this, or he can go straight right there and he has right here and actually I was going to take off the uh, jet and the jet will stay on while it's like that okay so you can leave the jet up there while he turns it's no problem just happened that my thumb knocked it down before alright and once we get to the legs now the legs they really did a nice job designing his waist because okay the box is here this opens up, this opens up, and the back. Hold on one second. I get the sides open. So let's just open it all up. Now, with this all open, you could see right here that you get to the hips. And the hips are on a nice, 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 solid joint. So he can go, you know, he can go up with it. Pretty much right forward, and he can go all pretty far back. But he does get stopped by this part here. All right. From there, he can go out to the side like this, and you could balance him on one leg. You can get the balance. I saw Odin do it, so you can get balance on it. So he actually can. For a big die-cast metal figure. I, and he is big. You know, well, I'm not going to be able to get it right now. But yes, you can actually balance him. Right now he's not, but you can. You can watch Odeon's video. I'll put a link there too. But uh, yeah, you can get him to balance. So right there. So he's got that forward. You got a spin 360 right there. Then you have the knee which goes to here. So you got a knee which is a little less than 90 degrees. Right here. And no spin on that. And we have heel. So the ankles go like this. So you can, right here at the ankles, you got an ankle tilt, a really good one too. Right here. 
right so you got the ankle tilt but you don't turn you turn at this part here yep so that's his articulation so pretty fantastic articulation so uh, yeah now I'm going to show you all his weapons and hands so we'll get to that oh man now Voltron comes with a tray full of weapons plus one more he comes with his blue metallic sword yeah. right or blazing sword I should say so yeah but uh I don't think it's chromed, it's just kind of the blue paint. Not really chrome, but it does look good. I, I like the way these look. And, uh, yeah, so you get three blazing swords. Not one, not two, but three different blazing swords. So a blue one, you get a nice gold one right here, which again is metallic paint, but it looks good. And then the chromed. And I like the chromed. I love the way the chromed looks. It does look fantastic. So really nice right there. So uh, yeah, he's got three blazing swords he comes with. Aside from the blazing swords, he comes with his electro whip. And uh, yeah. You might uh, have thought it was going to be like straight, but nope. It is... I don't know if it's rubber or this part's plastic. This might be a rubber material. Seems to have a little bit of stretch to it. I don't want to pull too hard. But yeah, so this is Electro Whip. And uh, very, very cool that you come with that. I really like that. So uh, it's really fan service for all this stuff. Okay, it comes with these two spears, the short ones. He's got two short spears. And they're not chrome, but they're just metallic paint. But they look pretty nice. Alright, and then we have a longer spear right here. And then we have the really, really long spear right here. Which looks like a rocket at the uh, top right there. But mine really looks fantastic. I love the look of it. And uh, Odeon said like when he got his, the original first release... This was chromed, and same thing here. The tops were chromed, but here it's just metallic paint. So, uh, yeah, there is a difference between the first and this. All right, and on top of that, you have its spinning blades, and these are pretty awesome because they go with. All right, hold on, I'll get another pair of fists. Now, he has extra fists, and here's some, something that's bad is in the instructions it shows you to open them up man it took forever to open them up and i think they glued them i think somebody messed up and glued because it seems to be like a lot of little glue inside here that somebody messed up because you're supposed to take these guys and you're supposed to be able to go grab it take this and we're putting it how are we putting it in here oh this way, yeah. And we can go take this, this piece here, and we're gonna put it do, 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 like this, right here, so you can put it in the hand, and then you close it up. And when you close it up, then you've got that nice, the real nice look of he's holding those blades really fantastic I mean that's something that's awesome and nice and chromed on it which really helps so it's something that and it's both the red one and the blue one on mine were glued together so it's really difficult to get them apart and they are supposed to come apart it's in the instructions so uh, yeah and then with his arm if I can get his arm in the picture come here alright so with his hand all you do is you just pull out there's a little ball joint there and uh, you just go and swap out the fist so now you can have this one so he has this for holding you know certain items like the javelin and then he has this another fist 
which is, you know, for holding the sword. So you could go and you just push it through. You don't have to do anything else, and you just swap it out. Just push it in, and there it is. And then my favorite one of the fists that it comes with is right here, and I'm going to use the blue one. And this is like the grabby hand, and it's one, the blue and the red are exactly the same. And it just really looks fantastic. And I really love the look of this. I mean, so again, come here, Voltron, move out your hand. So again, you just take the hand, pop it off, and swap it out. And there you go. And you got this really nice grabby hand. And I really, this is a lot of fan service. I mean, Pretty much, I I think most most companies would just said, okay, we'll give them a blazing sword, and that's it. But to go and give the spears, and not just one one spear, but you get two small ones, two larger ones. So you're getting four spears. You're getting the electro whip. You're getting three blazing swords, and then you're getting all the hands, which is just amazing. That they're doing all, that they give you all this stuff. And I really love it. I think it's fantastic. I'm, I'm happy. As you can tell, I am very happy with my purchase. I really love it. So there's only one thing left to do, and that is to go to the summation. Oh, man. I can't wait. So, uh, yeah. Wait, he's a little off balance right now. Oh, well, he can hold his sword. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get him a little bit of bounce. Right there. All right, there he goes. Nice and bounce. So, yeah, I can't wait. Let's get, let's get to the summation. I think you guys already know where this is going. But the question is, will Felsbug eat it? Let's find out. Let's go. Whoop. All right. Time for the summation. And I done been waiting for this. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this is a figure I've been waiting for my whole life. Well, not my whole life. But ever since I was an itty bitty Felsbug, this is what I really wanted. And I wanted a real nice Voltron. Vehicle Voltron. Because, like I said, Vehicle Voltron is one of those things I didn't really particularly like the cartoon. And I was real upset when he first come out. And it's like, wait, that's not Voltron. Voltron is lions. But I always loved the way he looked. I thought he looked fantastic. And, uh, yeah. I'm so glad that I was able to pick it up for a real good price. And I'm also so glad that, hey, most of the problems that it had are gone. But it does still have some faults. It's not 100%. You know, there are things about it that are like, oh man, like putting on the, attaching the thighs is difficult. I mean, it's hard to push the button down. Um, the chest part, it's on by a magnet, which works well if it's just standing there. But when you go to move them around or pose them, it pops off, which is annoying. The hands, well, the hands are good except for those hands that are supposed to separate and they done glued mine together. And I had to unglue them. That's kind of annoying. You know, so there are some bad things. Like the feet don't snap in. They just kind of slide on. And they slide off. And in, you know, land vehicle mode, I mean, it just sits, literally just sits on top. And so it just falls off. I mean, it's ridiculous that anybody thought that was a good design. But the look of them, I, it's a beautiful figure. I really... I can't stress that enough. I mean, and the fact, I think I'd be very upset if I paid $279, I would feel like, oh man, it looks wonderful, but, yeah. But in the case of paying $99 for this, for a brand new one, I mean, there, I really can't complain. And I can't complain at all. So, uh, is he nice? Yes, he is nice. Is he shiny? Oh man, is he ever so shiny. I mean, he even got a blazing sword right there. And is he good? Oh, yeah, he is good. And I'll say, if you can get him for a good price, you do well to pick him up. Well, he's huge. 
He's all die casty and nice. I mean, just fantastic looking figure. So now, the hard part is how to eat them. So, um, let me just, um, I know, I'll just come in there and let me just, um, 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 Nice, shiny, and good toy. Good toy. Uh, bye!